Hi there, everyone, and this is your January 2021 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. First and foremost, I want to greet you guys a happy, happy, happy new year. And it is my hope, wish, and desire that you have this year of 2021 be your best year ever filled with much love, happiness, and great joy, much better than how it was last year, of course. Now, to celebrate this um, starting this year of 2021 for the month of January, I am doing a very um, highly detailed and in-depth reading for each and every every signs out there, basically, wherein I am doing a combination of the tarot, uh, to give us more of uh, flavor and you know give us give us a more detailed storyline on what might be the energies that could be unfolding for each and every signs out there so just to give us a more uh, a lot more detail a lot more insights and confirmation throughout the reading and I'm also going to be adding in later at the end of the video, uh, so a combination and housing system of the Lenormand cards all at the same time. So, you know, we get the most uh, information out of the readings for this month of January 2021. As I believe that every January, it gives us a flavor on the important themes that might be occurring for us that sets the tone for the rest of the year. So, um... If you are interested to know more on what might be manifesting, what could be happening for the month that could that could re really wrap things up for you for the entire year, then please continue watching and don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button as that will really help me greatly and it's very much appreciated your support to the, this channel for me to continue making videos like this for you guys in the future all at the same time. So don't forget to tune in with me for the rest of the video to know more. So um, yeah, without any further ado, let's just get started. Hi there Capricorn, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your January 2021 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. So, before we begin the reading, let me just say again that this is a general reading, so it may or may not tune in to each and every Capricorn people out there. So, just keep that in mind as we go along. Also, this reading goes to those who have their Capricorn sun, moon, and rising sign. And I've mentioned this in the introduction of the video that I am doing a very um, highly in-depth and detailed reading. Uh, combining two decks to give us more information and more confirmation of the situation at hand. Now, this is a... a since it is a very highly detailed reading, it is actually a good thing if you are resonating with the reading. However, it can be very specific and detailed to a specific situation that might be happening to some people that it might not be um it might not make sense to the rest. So it is a good thing if you are actually resonating to the reading because this is this is like a free reading for you yourself. However, um it is not going to be for everyone. So that's really just the downside to it. So just keep that in mind. And I would advise you guys to take a look into your own situation if you are actually resonating to it. And, um, you know, take everything with a grain of salt as well. Use your own intuition as we go along. Uh, and like I said to all videos uh, that I have uploaded that take in re what resonates and leave the rest behind. So that's really going to be the key here. Um, eventually, though, uh, take in the keywords that I keep repeating all throughout the video because that is also going to give you like a basic idea what might be the general feel and energy involved that might transpire through the month of January for each and every one of you Capricorn people. So yeah, without any further ado, further ado uh, let's just dive into the reading. Now, you're starting off with the Two of Cups, which is a relationship card um, with the Ten of Wands. So 
this could be a, a situation, a relationship that has a lot of responsibilities or a situation that is causing you some form of burden one way or another. With the Nine of Cups and the Hierophant card, this could be a situation that you have really put a lot of emotional investment on. Or at the very least, it is something that maybe for some of you, you're planning to get married or wanting to get married. Or there's a lot of wishes involved into the situation, you know. You're trying also, this can also be a situation wherein you are trying to put things on the right track, especially when it comes to your relationships, which is really a good thing if you would ask me. I just kind of feel that there is something that is quite heavy into the scenario, you know, not 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 very easy or smooth sailing type of situation that is happening during this time. Uh, with the Ace of Swords and the Page of Cups, this is a situation wherein there has been some conversations and talks in the relationship that is um, uh, that can be quite draining, I would say. Or for some people, this could be a situation wherein you guys are talking about things that you want to experience, things that you want to to have into the relationship. However, it doesn't mean that it's really happening in that sense. So there could be disappointments in the relationship that is bogging you down or bogging your partner down as well. There is a possibility over here that you are dealing with someone who is very authoritarian, I would say, or someone that is very... Um, very pragmatic, logical. I mean, it's not as if that you're not like that. I mean, you are as well. I just kind of feel that they might be going through something in the past, you know, or recently. They have been going through some form of problem and issues that is affecting their relationship one way or another. Uh, that's what we are seeing over here. However, you are leaving it all to faith. So you're just trusting the process right now, which is actually uh, a sound judgment, I would say. Um, and I kind of feel that with this, it is like telling us that all your hard work and efforts are going to be paid off. Because in the near future, we're having here uh, uh, some form of reset button. We have the full card and the knight, the sword. So you might see some form of shift happening into your relationship, especially if you're coming to a point wherein it's it's heavy Um or the relationship has been causing you some form of stress. It doesn't mean that the relationship itself is stressful. It's just that there could be outer circumstances in your life that is affecting the relationship. It could be a career life or personal life of your partner or you yourself. Um, because of what you're personally going through or the other person's is going through, it's actually affecting the relationship. That might be just the cause of this, um, uh, the heaviness that we are seeing into the reading. However, there could be some form of change that might be happening for the month of January. You know, there could be um, like cutting through things, you know, resetting things. A, an event or a scenario can come about that changes or shift the the relationship, bringing it a lot more lighter, a lot more emotional maybe. Uh, you're having here uh, another full card. So we are having like two full cards over here. So th this really gives me a feeling we're in. Maybe this is a situation wherein you are just going to be taking a leap of faith of into the relationship this could also be a situation wherein yes things are still not perfect you're still having problems but um you're now able to understand each other you know someone is not too pragmatic anymore especially since we have here the king of cups and the two of no not 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 the two of swords i almost say that it's a two of cups. So the king of cups and the two of cups really more is more of a situation wherein um, someone is now being open to you in a very emotional sense. They are more sensitive now. They're not too strong. They're not too harsh. So you might have been dealt with a person like that or something similar. It could be a person that is um, that has put walls in you. Uh, or in the relationship, they 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 see life in a different way than you do. However, with this, you are now being able to see 
um, what's really going on. So you're now able to see the truth into the situation. You're able to understand why they are acting the way that they are. And you are now able to 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 resonate with them and maybe to face each other um, head on and to be with each other, you know, during the hard times of the relationship. So I kind of feel that, you know, um, the emphasis right now is there's going to be some form of improvement with how the two of you relate to each other, basically. With the Two of Wands and the Three of Cups, this is really more of uh, bringing back harmony into the relationship. So this is, you know, slowly, bit by bit, there's going to be some form of happiness in the air. And last but not least, we have the Justice card and the Nine of Pentacles really giving us a point wherein this relationship is definitely going to stay there are issues involved into the situation and these are things that you are going to work on and this this is just going to make the relationship a lot more stronger, a lot more... Um, I kind of feel that this is really more of a mature relationship and um, and it's not about one person venturing into a new chapter of their life but this is really more of a point wherein the two of you are going to... Um, experience and go through things together and entering a new point of a relationship wherein there is really more great understanding more trust into the relationship um can possibly occur but it but there's going to be a point wherein you might feel hopeless at first you know there's going to be a lot of things that that is going to be making you frustrated but because of the willingness to talk things out because of the willingness of communicating you will be able to resolve issues or at the very least, there's going to be some form of understanding in the air, which is really, really crucial and very important. So there is no issues like, uh, there's no romantic issues like third party situation. There's nothing like that. This is really more about, you know, a growth in terms of the relationship and commitment that the two of you have. So what you are feeling at the first part of this reading wherein things is very heavy it's like you don't know if you can continue the relationship it will come to a point wherein everything is actually pretty much worth it so that is really a very positive reading now let us see uh with the lenormand cards what it says this will actually give us more information or this can actually give us uh, some form of confirmation of the reading that we just had so we have the tower card and the ring. This really tells us about the relationship itself, the commitment of a situation. And we are seeing here that there is some form of problems. You know, you're trying to overcome a situation, trying to overcome a problem in the into the relationship. But because of the existence of the of the mountain card over here, we do know that there is a problematic situation with that relationship itself. With the star card and the clover, this gives us, you know, an opportunity to see like a eureka moment can come about with this. Some form when whenever the the clover card comes up, there's definitely going to be a chance for something, a chance to to see the light, <laughs> maybe. And we do have the sun card and the garden, which is, you know, can bring about positive situation into a relationship. There's going to be some form of positive um, happenings or some form of happiness into the relationship can really come about. And then we have two dogs here. And this is actually a pretty positive thing because when we get two cards in the Lenormand, it really vibrates that energy a lot more strongly. So this is basically telling us that there's going to be happiness in the air once again. There's going to be lighthearted energy once again. And um, the compassion and companion of the relationship is just going to be a lot more stronger, which is really a positive thing. So, uh, yeah, this is really more... Uh, we are seeing an improvement with how you are relating to your partner basically during this time. So it is a very positive reading and I'm really happy for a lot of Capricorn people out there because I do know that you have experienced quite a lot of things um, 
for the past few years or months even. <laughs> so um, yeah, this is a really wonderful energy. So I do hope that this reading gives you insight and clarity to your situation, Capricorn. And if you do want a more personal reading, something like this or, or more specifically done for you and your own situation, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by Chrissy.com. And I shall see you guys again next month. Don't forget to hit the like, share and subscribe button to get more videos like this or something similar. I'll see you again. Bye.